This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Okay. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Let's go. Climbing pick thing. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? Hey, how you doing? A walker doing inside here. Get inside fast. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Your guess is as good as mine. Aww. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? That's right. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in.
Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Huh? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to hey, shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? Keep an eye on Ben. I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Seriously, that's she before you know. But crayons and construction paper. So, according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. That's a bull from Buffer. Way to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. I don't like that. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use a bathroom anymore. Must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? She didn't wait for me. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Auto 
Shot must be down this way. This is the place I'm looking for. That is pretty dangerous. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. He's mine. What were you doing up there? Wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll work. Still undead, he's a dead dead. She never got the head. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. That blinky must be an anti theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. Find a way to get up there. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. It's locked. No way in. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect.
Something you need? Yep. Um. So why did you decide to help us? I well, told you. Up there. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. I can't reach it up there. Then this one doesn't work. No power. Wait, I think there's a. Looks there like you go. The hose for the lift hydraulics. Which you can cut and it'll release the fluid and it'll come down. Something you need? Yeah, um. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. You named Hilda. it? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Scratching on everything. I did it. You hear the music? Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. So you saw that coming. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. All right, let's remove the battery. Still attached to the terminals. Really? Still attached to the terminals. Well, that's what I was trying to do. Still attached to the terminals. Oh, you have to unscrew them and then take them. So, the negative terminal still screwed on. I was trying to get it. Gosh, the range off. of this thing is too much. It always picks up the middle. I thought. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Really? Okay, follow me. I didn't think you would have that thing. She's a lot better than Kenny. He's always dropping me. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. I wasn't complaining. I was just stating the state of things. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Uh, what did you call me? Now that you mention it. Whoa. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing?
guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Sheesh. See, that one's over there to the alley. So the shell casing. What? Little help here. Oh snap! Doors won't close all the way. Lee, do something. The hatchet. Yeah, we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She better be. Hopscotch. <laughs> what do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Uh... Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Dr. Nkacha got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Uh... Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Pamphlets. Looks like they have quite a system here. Hawkins' final solution. Final solution? That sounds a little. Number of ineligible citizens found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. Number of walkers found. Initial of a person conducting search. Jason's outbreak. Huh. You okay, Clem? 
Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. No. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She better be. She's pretty she tough. has the battery. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Uh. Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Uh. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened lost my whole family I'm the only one who survived funny how things work out huh how long have you known Vernon couple of years he ran our support group he was really great helping me come to terms with my disease but how do you come to terms with something like this with a place like Crawford I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon he's the one who held us together kept us alive uh -huh. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Well, they didn't want my help over there. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. 